rivers are depleting. It is estimated that by the year 2030, we will have only 50% of the water that we need. 25% of India is turning into a desert. Indian rivers are dying. Ganga is the most endangered river in the world. Godavari runs dry along most of its course. Kaveri has shrunk by 40%. Krishna and Narmada have lost 60% flow. Flood, drought. Everyone, everyone who consumes water must rally for rivers. It is time to stand up for India's lifelines. Rally for rivers. India's rivers are sick. Some of them are dying. I'm standing next to India's most polluted river, the Yamuna, that's facing increasing levels of pollution. But today, it is not the story of one river. It is not the tale of one state or one community. It is, in fact, the matter of survival of all of us. Survival of India's rivers, survival of our future. Hello and welcome to a very special series where we're tracking a mammoth movement. An incredible rally starting from Kanyakumari, reaching up to the Himalayas. 7,000 kilometers all in a month with the sole purpose of rejuvenating India's rivers. A call that is asking us to stop and think. If we are a civilization born along the rivers, will we survive if the rivers don't? In the next 30 minutes, the citizens are standing up to rally for rivers. We are tracking a mammoth movement for change with one clear objective saving India's dying river. Let me first get you some hard facts. No, not statistics, not jargon. Just images before and after. In a matter of just 35 years, these once robust rivers have depleted to almost half their size. Ganga, Godavari, Narmada, Kaveri. Our rivers have been speaking to us. Floods one year, drought another. It is a message. When in Lakhi Sarai, the rivers dried up and the villagers had to dig up the riverbed for a drop of water, that was a warning. Let's not forget the farmers of Tamil Nadu as they sat in protest with skulls of their dead family members, rats, snakes and their own urine in hand.